All right, here we go. Good signs. 74 miles. Hey, what's up? It's Chaz, and today we are in Oakland, California at my house. And I know this is weird because normally I go visit the Zip athletes at their houses, but today I'm the Zip athlete and we're at my house and we're gonna do something really rad. I am gonna prepare to ride from San Francisco to Los Angeles, fully self-supported on my road bike. So I'm gonna do the first three days as part of the Coast Ride, which is an annual ride from San Francisco to Santa Barbara, but then I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna ride all the way down to LA. I'm gonna be riding self-supported, which means I'm gonna be carrying all my own gear and I'm gonna be ripping on the new Zip 353 NSWs. So we're here at my house so we can pop into my basement. I'm gonna set up these new Zip 353 NSWs tubeless with some Continental 5000S tires. One of the coolest things about Zip rims is that you don't really need tire levers to mount tires. Now, though this isn't for every tire, but most of the time, you can just use your hands because of the way that the rim is engineered to mount the tire on, which is super nice. There's not a sweeter sound in the world than seating a tire on the first go. I've got my bike pretty much packed. This is gonna be a self-supported ride from SF to LA, but I am gonna be staying in hotels, so thankfully I don't need to bring camping gear or cooking gear or stuff like that. Um, pretty light pack job, I got my clothes in the back, got tools, got my phone, my, uh, you know, my wallet, everything like that, snacks and then more snacks and layers up front. This is pretty bare bones, but the goal here is speed. It's gonna be four days to LA, about 120 to 130 miles a day with about eight or 9,000 feet of climbing. So should be pretty rad. Probably the fastest ultra endurance cycling rig I've ever had. It's a Scott foil and I'm rocking the ETAP Axis 2x. I've got a 10 by 33 cassette in the back and a 48 by 35 up in the front. There is a couple hundred people getting ready for the coast ride. This is the jam. Today we're gonna ride to Santa Cruz. Uh, no, to Monterey. It's about 130 miles, about 6,000 feet of climbing. Me and my boys from the Endo Concept team are gonna try and roll out a little bit early because the first little bit's kind of a little bit hectic with 300 riders heading out. So San Francisco to Monterey, coast ride day one. It's just ever so windy out here. What up? Made it to Santa Cruz, 75 miles in. What, like maybe 50, 60 miles left? 50, yes. 60 miles left, and absolutely gorgeous. Guys, it's Bridge from Famous Movies as the Lost Boys. We got like 20 miles to go. Vinny's uh, going quite swimmingly. Yeah, 6.45 in the morning, morning. the sun's not up. We slept for a couple hours, and we got 120 miles, 9,000 feet of climbing, and Big Sur today. So let's eat some more snacks and uh, I'll make it happen, huh? Rolling out. All right, here we go. Good sign. 74 miles. All right, here we are. You may recognize this first one. This is the 2019 Nissan Leaf. 2021 Toyota Tundra. Pretty much any car commercial ever. This is the Bixby Bridge. And we're standing in front of it because, I don't know, this is what you do. Let's get the bridge. Car commercial, yeah? All right, it's going to be about halfway down of the day. We're trying this new strategy out. Rather than leave really early to beat the rush, we uh, we actually spent about an hour and a half at the most popular bakery on the route today. Uh, most of it waiting in line, like 45 minutes waiting in line, um, maybe more. And then we spent 10 minutes eating. So we're chasing sunlight probably for the rest of the day, but it's all good because we had a great breakfast and a big cup of coffee. All right, made it to Morro Bay. Have some uh, light beverages to uh, aid with the recovery. 120 miles, almost 9,000 feet of climbing. Most excellent day in the saddle. Now we're gonna stay in a hotel with a Roman bath. Sore, you've already put in a couple hundred miles in a couple days. I got sunrise, it's nice and cool. The legs are getting warmed up. Easily my favorite part of any one of these rides is the first couple hours you do right before the sun comes up. So the organizers put a route out every day um, and it's like a ride with GPS or like a Strava route um, and they have a couple SAG vehicles on this ride so the, there's spots you can get water, you know, like gas stations and stuff like that, but they also have a, a couple vans that are out there making sure everyone's okay. But today, the route took us up into some crazy hills and it was on the highway the whole time. 
So we just called an audible and we cut inland and spent all day just cruising these little back farm roads. Um, got lost a handful of times, but sometimes when you're out on long rides like this, it's not necessarily about following the exact route. It's about just getting to the destination and having a great time. Semi-early morning, only about 100 miles today, so it should be chill. But let me tell you, nothing compares to uh, waking up in hotel rooms every morning, having the best, finest Wolfgang Puck select coffee, maybe an instant oatmeal that you use the hot water heater, the coffee pot. Right next to the ocean, my man's taking analog film footer. It's very important to remember to always be flexible when you're out on these types of tours because you never know when you're going to have to walk next to a railroad track for a little bit. And I know that these uh, 353s and these 30C tires are probably capable of uh, some gravel, some light gravel, but this is a little heavier than light gravel, you know what I'm saying? All right, made it to LA, Santa Monica technically, but we're gonna call it four days, San Francisco to Los Angeles, fully self-supported, 400 something miles, maybe even 500, a lot of climbing, tons of snacks, bunch of good friends, can't ask for much more than that. You know what to do, like the smash button, smash the like button, and check you next week.